Okay, this video, uh, we're going to kick off a series of videos that go over the connect configuration, how to get our standards set up and downloaded and all that. Um, but before I get into all that, since the connect configuration has uh, changed drastically from the V8i, I wanted to go over some like background on how the configuration works. Um, and then in the next video, I'll show how we actually set up or tied into this configuration. Um, so with the connect, you know, they added a couple more levels for configuration. Uh, so one to note is the organization level. And so this is designed um, to always be loaded no matter what workspace you have. Uh, so it's, you know, it's more of organization wide level. So um, we're not going to touch this. We are hoping the other tier DOTs don't touch this either. That way you guys can use it um, to do things that you're, you need at organization level. Um, so what we will take over, or well, I guess add into, is the workspace because you can choose which workspace you want to load. Um, so hopefully other DOTs follow suit and they you know, use the workspace and then you can easily just choose which workspace you want to load but then anything that you would want to load across workspaces, you could set up in your organization and that would be specific to you guys. Okay, so I just want to want to note that in your know, organization, you can't set that from within a workspace. Uh, so I'll show you how you can set set the organization level um, and later on in this video. And then work set is um, what used to be projects. Um, so this is like, where your project files are, your DGNs and spreadsheets and whatnot specific to a given project. Um, Bentley has named it Workset. Um, so we will we will use that. Okay, so let's go through kind of how the configuration is working. Um, so if you look at your C program data, Bentley, Microsoft and Connect configuration, um, and this would be the same for ORD as well, the configuration uh, works the same way. Um, so in here, you'll see that there is a workspace setup config file. So we'll go over that one first. So what this file does is uh, it can define a different label for your workspace. If you didn't want to see workspace, if you want to call it something else, you could, I guess. Um, your organization. So here's where you could say, look here for my organization level. So and this is with this variable. Now, if you notice, there's already organization in folder here. So this is the default. So if you're going to put your organization stuff in here, you don't need to set it in here because it's the default already. And another thing you can do is set the workspaces root. So important to note the S here. Um, so this would be where to look for all your workspaces. Right? Um, so again, there's a workspaces folder here. This is the default. If you use this, you don't need to set it in the workspace setup because it's the default. Okay, so um, you have a little more control, like like the workspaces. This is really looking for that workspace config file, um, which I'll get into in a second here. Um, so if I take a look inside this workspace folder, you can see that Bentley has delivered one workspace example, and here's the workspace config file named example. Okay, um, so you have some more control with this config file if you wanted to move this folder somewhere else, which um, I'll show you when we go to set up our stuff. But, um, so we could throw in our ODOT workspace into this location, uh, but there's there's a better way to do it. Uh, so that is with the configuration setup file. So with this file, what it gives us the ability to do is to define a custom configuration location. So the important thing to note here is that if you do define this custom configuration, you are basically forking the the configuration. So it's still going to load every, like the workspace setup. It's still going to load all these workspaces here, but then it's also going to load everything you have at this custom location, um, which is pretty nice. And I'll show you, and this is what ODOT is actually going to utilize. Um, and this custom location can be set during the installation of, of your Bentley products as well. So if I take a look at this configuration file, 
Um, I'm gonna. I have it boxed here. USTN custom configuration. I'm setting it um, to X Cat Services Connect Config in this screenshot. I, when I go through the demo, um, I'll use the demo folder that I've been using for the series. Okay. So what's cool here is that with this one variable, I can point all of my configuration customization that I need onto a network drive. So that means the only thing I have to set on each user computer would be this variable. Pretty nifty. Um, so, well, we're gonna make use of that. So if I jump over to where I pointed that custom configuration on the X drive here, and then I just made a connect config folder, you can set it up the same exact way that we just saw. You can add an organization, you can add a workspaces folder, you can have this workspace setup config file. Um, so just like before, the workspace setup can set the same things, uh, but again, if you use these two folder, they're defaults. So if I take a look inside workspaces folder, I just threw a couple of config files in here, um, just to kind of show what could happen here. And so what, what the important to note is that you, you actually don't need the main folder in the workspaces folder, you just need the config file. The folder that contains all the DGen libs and stuff can be elsewhere and then you can point to where that elsewhere is inside the specific workspace config file um, or you could have it at the same location um, as that would be the default okay so let's take a look at what it would look like when we open up a uh, microstation so here's a screenshot so i use this pull down i have example configuration and i have custom configuration now so what's cool here is that we get all the delivered example configurations and then we get everything that we customize and there's a little divider between it um, so that, that's pretty nice uh, one thing to note is if you select an example configuration or anything up here it'll load the organization from that location if you select anything from the custom configuration it'll load the organization um, from the custom location it's the only real way to switch between organization that's there's no other way to do it um, it's not designed to be workspace specific. Okay, so uh, hopefully other DOTs follow suit in this kind of setup and it makes it easy for everyone to have multiple standards and easily switch between them. Okay, so let's focus in on what our OHDOT config file is actually doing. So again, I'm talking about, you know, this OHDOT config file right here that goes inside the custom configuration location workspaces folder. Okay. So what ours is doing, we're doing four things. First thing we're doing is we're setting the workspace root location. Okay, so this would be the location of the standard. So here's how you could achieve putting the that standard folder somewhere other than the config file, right? We're gonna then also set the workspace standards, which just goes to standards folder inside of the ODOT workspace. Set the location for the work sets. So again, where you want the projects directory to be. And the last thing is called the main ODA workspace uh, config file. So this config file is actually within inside our standards directory. And the reason we did this was just to make updating easier. So if, if all of our main configuration is inside our standards folder, uh, we can use a sync tool that keeps that in check. And we don't have to worry about this, this, this file right here that's you know, not technically inside the standards folder, but it could be pointing to the standards folder. It might be hard to track down. Um, so um, that's that's kind of why we're doing it like that. Uh, we did do that, something similar with the old standards, if you guys are familiar with them. And so that's, that's the four things that that config file is going to do. Okay, so diving a little bit deeper into our workspace, um, so inside this the workspace folder, we're dubbing it the OHDOT folder is what we're calling this standard. So there's a standards folder I was talking about um, that this variable was being set right here, this workspace standards. Um, just like our old standards, if you have some workspace specific configuration for us um, that you want to customize, you can create a local folder. And in there, that's where you can do your customizations. So this would be different from the organization level because this would be customization specific to the OHDOT workspace where the organization level would be stuff you have set up across your workspaces. Okay.